To Plano, where police say another massage business is caught up in sex crimes. It's the third one police have investigated in a matter of weeks. And tonight, two people are facing charges. And the chief of police tells Matt Howerton compliance checks are happening at spas across that city. We just don't believe that uh, we can continue to let them operate illegally uh, in our city. At Plano PD, Chief Ed Drain has a lot on his plate. Of the many things he's asked to do, council members have this as a priority. They would like for us to check every massage parlor in the city on just an open compliance check once a year. That's right, to ensure those businesses are operating as advertised. And certainly not every massage parlor in our city is operating illegally. Coming out of COVID, it, they just started popping up everywhere. And there are customers out there. Over the past uh, 12 months, yeah, it's more, it's closer to about 150 John arrest that we've done. The department revealing Monday a compliance check along with complaints led to the arrest of two employees here at the Golden Foot Spa in this shopping center off of Spring Creek Parkway. One pleaded guilty to prostitution, the other pleaded guilty to acting as a massage therapist without a license last month as their prostitution charge is still pending. Red flags, Chief Drain says. There are people uh, that are supposed to be massage therapists, but they don't have a, a massage therapist license to do that work. That's usually an indication that, that something is going on. Despite the charges, this business, which didn't comment to us when we asked, still operating. And for that reason, it's not just on Plano PD's radar. Well, this is now the second massage spa the city of Plano has gone after recently. In April, Jobin Punniker explained how the city of Plano has taken two parlors to civil court after repeat citations and prostitution arrests. A suit opens up legal discovery showing the city and police who is profiting from the business, who works there, who could be a victim. No suit has been filed here, though, yet. As Plano PD continues this novel approach to stopping crime. In Plano, I'm Matt Howerton.